Okay, here we are. We're on the set right now from the next stop Christmas. We're, it's a Hallmark movie that's up and coming uh, this season. And this is uh, the second scene. So we're doing, a, it's gonna be a town uh, uh, that they're gonna do a city tree lighting. Um, we actually originally did a mock-up at a different location and uh, they decided to um, change it to this one. So here we are. And we're gonna wrap all these trees in a spiral. The thing is, this is background, so it's going to be a long ways away from the camera. So normally, on a tree, a trees this this big, we probably wouldn't do. But um, uh, normally, we like to be a lot closer than this, like about four fingers apart. But we're actually going a little bit further apart because, for one, um, these are incandescent, so you, it, it's going to be hard with the electricity issues. Um, typically, when we install, we use LED, and you don't have to worry about power constraints. But uh, they want the incandescent because they film better. And we got to go a ways up and we're going to go a ways back down here. So uh, we're going to do some overhead lights here. And uh, the thing is, this is going to be in the, in the background. And what they're going to do once we're done is they're going to spray some fake snow here and they're going to use video effects and they're going to get rid of a lot of the background altogether and just make it look all white. So we just have to focus on this area here. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we've gone up, um, since we're working with incandescent, uh, an issue you run into is you can't just put end to end a bunch of strands. So if you're doing LED, that kind of fixes it. You can do 20 to 40 strands end to end, usually it, just depending on the brand. But with incandescent, it's very common you can only do five end to end. So we have five. Now, the reason we're doing five on this tree, uh, or incandescent, is because this is for a, a Hallmark movie and they prefer incandescents because they film better. So this is the situation we're in, so we're gonna work with that. And I actually used to install incandescent for many years. So um, we're just going back to old school basics, which if you're a homeowner, you probably still use incandescent. But so here we are, we got to the end of the fist fan. We're gonna need another set of power. So we got a, an extension cord up here which goes back down and plugs into the main power source. And we're gonna, what we don't want is when you look at a strand, it has like this foot long gap with no no lights on it. So what we do is we take uh, and we put a little loop in it. This is important because you don't want all these lights like every four inches. And then all of a sudden you got a foot gap, like your eyes are drawn right to the thing that looks one of the things is not like the other, you know? Uh, so we just make a little loop like this and we're going to put a female in through it, which I might've made the loop a little too small. It, it can be a little bit, you don't want a huge loop, so we just do that. And what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to plug it into here, which I actually didn't plug it up below. I'm going to plug it in here. And so when we're going around the tree, we're going to have four inch bulbs everywhere across. So we have a long gap right there. And then we actually stole power right here. And we're going to keep going around the tree. We're going up 10 feet on this tree, I think, or 12 feet. So uh, that's your tip from a pro. Okay, so we just also lit up another one and we found out we have a um, broken bulb. Uh, so half a strand is out. As you can see, it's broken. So that means electricity isn't going through it. So I'm just going to pull it out with my fingernail like that. And I actually um, pulled out another one from another strand that's broke. And uh, these are the same. So all I'm going to do is put this one in. There we go. And now we got the strand working. So that's an easy... Easy fix. Okay, so we're out here putting up some, uh, it's kind of like patio lighting, but they don't want the actual patio lights with the, um, uh, so what we got actually here is some globe lighting. The thing is, this is a Hallmark movie set, so they don't want every scene to look the same. So they wanted a different type of bulb for this. Look, and it, it's pretty nice. It's just gonna be kind of like if you have a backyard and you have a patio and you got maybe a little grill or something you want to have some overhead light at night so this uh we're doing a little bit more temporary than you may uh, want to do it if you're doing it on your own personal house but i'm using um we're going back and forth and these are actually incandescent so they do look better they definitely film better but uh, i would highly recommend you getting led in the plastic bulbs um if you're trying to have it last outdoor for like a year or so but these are nice they're they're pretty reasonably priced if you get the glow bulbs um with the incandescent, but they break if you drop them. 
So what we're doing though, is we're zip tying it to each one of these trees. If it's more of a long-term setting, I would either put an eye hook in there or uh, maybe like a rope and tie them back and forth. Um, and another thing to remember, if you are working with incandescent, so we have three strands and you can't do a four, so we actually undid it right there. I'm gonna put another extension cord and run across that tree. Um, if you were to put four, you're gonna end up blowing fuses on your extension cords or uh, on the actual lines right, right here. Let's see here. So right inside of here, there's gonna be a little fuse that would pop. So you only have to worry about that if you're dealing with incandescent. But like I said, we're, uh, for the movies typically require incandescent. So that's what we're working with. And if you're a typical homeowner, you may like the look of incandescent because the price is much, much cheaper than LED. So just a thing you got to remember is you can't plug more than three of these together usually, um, or it will uh, fry, fry the fuse inside. So the workaround, you just run an extension cord every third one and you're good.